From above, Mariupol looks like it's had the life sucked out of it. People's homes, now frozen in time, eerie carcasses of war. And on the ground, even the dead get no peace. It's too dangerous to bury them in the cemetery, often lying outside for days. Those left alive can't make sense of this war. My mother-in-law, born in 1936, she survived the Leningrad siege, Russian passport, honored worker of Russian Federation's fishing industry. There she is, lying. Those killed in the bombardment are being buried in the grounds of their homes, something they never would have imagined while living here. It's disgusting. I'm not going to blame anyone. I'm disgusted, I'm scared, and I'm cold. It's a horror. I have never expected this to happen in my life. This video has been uploaded by the Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, fighting for Russia, claiming this is an attempt to evacuate civilians. But most efforts to evacuate civilians from here have so far failed. For three weeks, Russia has assaulted this strategic port city. Tens of thousands are trapped here, and nothing functions anymore. We spent two days in the basement. She's a sick woman who had to sit on a chair all that time. I thought she wouldn't survive. Then the men came and helped to carry her out. So we are here, all bundled up with blankets. It's very cold. We just want to go home. Young faces still manage a smile in these unimaginable times. Everything is going to be okay, she tells her children. It will end soon. Vladimir Putin says Russian forces are not targeting civilians. The ground, the reality, tells a very different story. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, in western Ukraine.